Hey everybody, my name is Ben, and I wanna start out today by asking you a question. What do you think about when you think about the Bible? Maybe it's a leather book that has teeny tiny thin pages in between, or maybe it's an app on your phone, but whatever you think about how it looks like, today we're gonna to change the way we think about reading it. For me, being consistent reading the Bible has been always something that I struggled with, and I've tried every single trick imaginable. Probably my favorite trick that I tried is I rearranged all of the apps on my phone so that Instagram was right next to the Bible app, and every day when I went to check my Instagram account, I had the opportunity to remember that I hadn't read my Bible yet, and I probably should do that. Um, I've also tried so many different methods of reading God's Word. I've tried reading it from cover to cover. I've tried studying one topic and finding every verse about that topic. I've tried picking one book and just reading it over and over and over. And one method that I've tried, and I would not recommend to anyone, is called the flip and dip. And what you do is you take your Bible and you flip it open and you dip into God's Word and whatever you point to is apparently what God has for you that day. So one day I did that and I flipped it open there's a verse in Mark where this guy was following after Jesus wearing nothing but a loincloth. And it says that the people seized him and when he ran away, he ran away naked. And I thought there is absolutely no way that's what God has for me today. And so I was like, maybe we'll try it again. So I flipped again, looked away, I pointed to a scripture and it said, go and do likewise. Man, but all joking aside, there are so many great methods to reading God's word, but there is absolutely no magic formula. And that's what I learned about a year ago. You see, the way I used to think about reading God's Word is that it was a checklist item that I had to check off to be a good Christian and that if I had done that, that God would be pleased with me and He would bless my day. It's kind of like my good luck charm of reading my Bible in the morning equals having a great day. But it's so much deeper than that. You see what it says in Psalm 119? David talks about how he hid God's Word in his heart so that he would not sin against God. It's so much better than just reading a checklist because God's Word is so powerful. It says in Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12, For the Word of God is living and active and sharper than any two-edged sword, and piercing as far as the divisions of soul and spirit, of both joints and marrow, and able to judge the thoughts and intentions of the heart. You see, God's Word isn't a task, but it's a gift that He has given us to build a relationship with Him. And when we have troubles or we have a bad day, and we will, even if we've read our Bible that morning, it's God's Word that we stand on. It's what we believe and it's what we recall when it is hidden in our hearts. So what are you going to do? Imagine if we all started hiding God's Word in our heart. It could change our communities. It could change our school. Because here is what I know, is that when you change the way you think about God's Word, God's Word has the power to change the way that you think. So now that you know all of this, what I want you to do is I want you to get into your small groups and talk about how God's Word is impacting your life.